Saturdays and Sundays. Those are my favorite days in the week. Argu those are arguably my favorite days in the week, and most students would probably agree with me. Those are the days when our responsibilities, our students, are released, and we are able to do just about anything we want, as long as it's legal. Whatever we do is entirely up to us or our parents, other than, other than the one or two homework that often surfaces up. I would usually spend these two days wasting away in my room, um, surfing the internet or playing video games, doing much more of the latter than the former. <laughs> uh, in fact, during, during these two coveted days, I would usually spend around five to six hours playing video games a day, or around 10 to 12 in total. That may or may not be a lot of time depending on who you are, but I never really cared. The design of the video game would usually determine whether or not I would enjoy it. If a game was done well or I would enjoy it, I would usually come back and play the game again. The games I come back to play again to play more often were often identified as a good game. For a game to be done well or good, all or most of the design aspects have to be, have, have to be enjoyable or at least have thought put into them. There are many aspects to a video game, but the main ones I wanted to talk about are game mechanics, visual and, au visual and audio design, oh wait, what the? <laughs> um, story, storytelling slash world building, and content. So the thing that makes a, th a video game a video game is uh, the game mechanics. Well, what are game, game mechanics? According to the Interaction Design Foundation, game mechanics refer to the mechanical works of a video game. They are the most basic functions of a video game. They are, um, for, they are used for, they are used for um, game and player interaction. For example, if you are playing a first-person game, pressing the forward key will make your character you're controlling move forward. This is an example of a very simple mechanic. A good, a good mechanic would have, to be, would have to work reliably every time, and not under, interfere with other mechanics unless Unless it's, unless it's a deliberate decision. Some games, like Minecraft, like Minecraft or, Titan, or Titanfall 2, are specifically called out or noticed for their more well-done and interesting mechanics. An interesting mechanic is usually a core mechanic and is what distinguishes the game from a gameplay perspective. Two different games will work differently because of their, of their different um, differences in mechanics. If people do not enjoy these mechanics, or they bug out very often, they, might, they may not enjoy the game as much. Another thing that makes a video game is the visual and audio design. The visual design describes how a game would look. This is often the first thing a person will notice inside a video game. Different types of video games or, or games of a different genre will have different, video or have different visual styles. For example, a game like Activision's Call of Duty will have a, will ha will ha has a more realistic visual design than, other, other, than the other titles like Skylanders, for example, which has a much less, which ha which has a much less realistic visual design. Audio design is how a game would usually sound. This is includes the sound effects, general noises, or music. Audio, audio can be used to convey emotions and help, the, and help direct a person's attention to a specific part of a game. But also, audio can also be viewed as one of the less important aspects of a game. This may or may not be the case, as many, as many games of various genres use them to help Use a help is used to help um, create to um, help player direct them or offer a new or offer them a new perspective into the game. Take for example binaural audio. The use of binaural audio, uh, the, new, the use of binaural audio has become more frequent over the over, over the years and has become and, and, you, and is used to provide a more exp, um, immersive experience that when playing games that use it. World building is used to make the game um, of the world of a game more descriptive and immersive. Without world building, a game, lack, a game might lack a solid base for the story to be based upon. For example, if you were playing a fantasy game, there would usually be a main boss character or an antagonist you would have to fight. To emphasize the threat that such a character would hold, game developers can turn to world building to help explain. An example of this would be a piece of dialogue with a non-person character, a piece of text your, a character, a piece of text your character would find, cuts, or cutscenes, which are miniature ex um, cinematic experiences. Uh, oh, great, great. <laughs> content is one of the most important aspects of a video game, but this aspect, this aspect can also go by another word. This word is re re replay value. Replay value is how, mu is how much replay value is how much value a game has after its first completion, according to the Oxford Learner's Dictionary. Replay value can also go by also can, can also go by replayability. Games with, lots of re games with lots of replay replayability will often get a person to stay to play the game and stay more. After a person play finishes the core mechanics, there's often nothing else for the player to do. 
A game with good replayability will, have an, will often have uh, um, extra activities for, play, for the player to do, or at least extremely repetitive ones, like player versus player activities. This replay value is a key factor to determining whether or not a game is good. An example of this would be electric, Electronic Arts Anthem. Some people may or may not recognize this title. Uh, this, is an example, this, is a ver this game is very infamous, and it's an, exa it is an example of a good concept done poorly. For those of you who do not know this game, Anthem is a science fiction um, game developed by BioWare Studios and published by Electronic Arts. This game takes place in the future, with flying and hovering as a core mechanic and with a realistic visual design. Anthem was announced on um, June 10th, um, 2017, and it was not released until February 22nd, um, two um, 2019. It was one of the gaming's busy, um, biggest disappointments, scoring an average of 59 out of um, 100 points, but which is below the 76, 76 points according to Metacritic. Anthem has various problems, like frequent bugs and lo or, long or long loading times, but its biggest problem was its lack of, um, was its lack of end, end game content. You see, Anthem was supposed to be a looter shooter type game. A looter shooter is a role-playing game where a player would use in-game weapons or, 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 and or gear to help to combat opponents. A player would then receive rewards and the cycle would repeat again. To make a looter shooter game interesting, it might have a long campaign, I mean, a I mean, story activity which should be around 12 to 10, um, 8 to 12 hours, or an assortment of extra activities with plenty of weapons and gear for a player to chase after. Anthem did not do that. It had a very short, act, um, it had a very short act campaign, or only around five to six hours, or ver and very short activities out of that. Outside of that, the loot, the loot, um, the, the weapon, the weapon and gear choice or loophole was also very small. Um, many people did not enjoy Anthem, as shown by the reviews. After Anthem's release, it was it has severely Anthem, Anthem's release. Its popularity has severely decreased, and most of the player base of Anthem has left. It did not have enough replayability, and it really showed. For the $60 price tag, the game was not worth it, and many players were left disappointed. Uh, so those what I believe are that w those what I believe are the design aspects that make a very good video game. When I first when I first looked into this um, topic, I originally just wanted to have an excuse to play. But over time, after I looked into these more aspects, after I looked into these aspects, I began to enjoy it more. But this does not have to apply just to your, uh, to your games. It can also apply it to your life. If you want to enjoy something more, maybe you can identify and research the aspects that make it. Thank you.